Good morning everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So I'm still waiting on a part for the 922, it should be here today or tomorrow. And I'm waiting on a couple parts for an AL80B. So in the meantime, I'm going to work on this AL811H. Okay, so it needs a whole bunch of stuff. So it has the pink resistors, so I always pull one leg and check them to make sure that they're all within tolerance and if they are I can reuse these caps but um, you know first I take a screwdriver that I'm plugged and meter at zero I always go in there and put the screwdriver between each set of cap screws just to make sure they're all fully discharged in case the resistor is open so sure enough I'll show you this resistor right here is open. Look at the next one. Next, oops. next one is sorry, this is really hard to do with one hand. Makes sense. Sorry about that guys. That one's 24K. That one's off. 50K. So that's better right there. 50K. Let me recheck this one because I thought I saw 50K before. 24k so this one is way out of tolerance Let's double check yeah 24k the other one's open okay so it'll get a new set of chemic capacitors brand new resistors moving on so it's a parasitic suppressor board straps. This one is badly frayed. I almost was going to reuse the plate choke, but it has discoloration in the middle, probably from using it on 75 meters. Started to unwind. That's not a big deal, but it's missing some of the enamel coating over here. Then I noticed that it looks kind of strange right there. So I'm just going to change it, put a longer screw in the base, longer screw in the top. So you can see. Grid, resist, uh, grid loading resistors that someone put in here. One is blown apart. So it needs the bias modification. I'm sure the meter protection diode's probably shorted. So I'll replace that. Someone did some crazy wiring for meter lamps. These are like hanging over the edge of the filter caps. Big no-no. So take all that out, clean it up, and put LEDs inside the meter movements. Someone added the diodes on the rear board, but they soldered the leads together. I like to twist and solder them, and the solder joints don't look great. So I'll pull that all out. Pull the wire out for the 10 meter mod, and uh, obviously pull this whole assembly out, ground the grids right to the metal, add the gas discharge tubes, these new SO239s. You know, nothing there. Nothing there. See, that's bad. So, I get my SO239s from Max Gain Systems. Great people over there. And, um, it's getting a brand new set of 572B tubes from Pentalabs. A customer had 811s in it. So, I will not work on one of these. I will not work on any amplifier that uses 811s unless you put 572s in. The 811s just have way too many problems, the Chinese ones. If you have GE ones, that's fine. But I will not use China 811s in anything. And you cannot use China 811s mounted in an amplifier that has them in the horizontal plane, mounted horizontally, because the grid structure ends up sagging, touches the plate, and then poof. Okay, so that's about it for now. 
I will see you guys in a bit. Also needs new fuses. Who's missing the fuses? And um, I'll be back. A lot of work here, but I have everything in stock. So no waiting on parts. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the filter caps first. See you guys soon. So I started to remove the tube socket assembly and I noticed that the load air variable capacitor is actually missing the cap nuts. These studs coming out of it bond the frame of the capacitor to the chassis. That's that's a first. I've never seen it missing the nuts. Okay, so um, I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon. Someone really did a number on this amp. I keep finding problem after problem. So missing a clip here. Not that one. This one right here. That's the filament connection. Super spread. That one's crazy spread. I'm going to compress it and, and also replace the clip. That one's missing. I'll replace that. Uh, Press all the others, check them over carefully, ground the grits right to the metal, and add gas discharge tube. Okay, so I tried putting cap nuts on these studs, and right when I start tightening one of them, it snapped off, so I can't leave it like that. So I'm gonna have to replace that capacitor. Uh, there was evidence that it had nuts at some point. I could see scrape, like where it scraped into the plating on the metal, so Someone removed them. I don't. I don't know why. So I've seen a lot of crazy things over the years. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to work. See you guys soon. So I fixed the socket clips, fixed solder joints. I ended up replacing. I think it was like five clips. Compressed the socket, the retainer clips. I'm talking about. Uh, I compressed the clips. Grounded the, each grid connection, one per socket directly to the metal. Added the two gas discharge tubes, one per side of the parallel filament. Filaments, there's one filament per tube, obviously. So, uh, all these standoffs were loose also, so I tightened those up real good. Everything is nice and tight, tight, and soldered really well. So, I'm going to put a longer screw in, a new plate choke, and, uh... Back to work. I also placed those diodes in the rear board. Two SO239, zip tied the wiring nice, nice, and you know, obviously added the, the wire for the bias mod and restripped the filament leads. Okay, so I will see you in a bit. Stay tuned in the new capacitor. Okay, I'll be back. Back with the completed Maritron AL811H. Customer wants to see it working on 20 meters, so it's on 20 meters. Settings, 1KW slug, bird 43, bird PEP kit, PEP kit is on, going into a bird attenuator load, frequency is 14.09, audio hello, hello, about 70 watts or so, audio hello, audio hello, 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 audio hello, hello, audio hello, 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 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, audio, hello, 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 Audio hello 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 audio hello 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 audio t -t 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 works as it should works as it should audio hello 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 put it back on high voltage okay so I'm gonna test the other bands above this one and then shut it off let the high voltage bleed down take the cover off I right, will unplug it take the cover off and show you everything I did. A lot done to this amp. See you guys soon. I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. I'm going to show you everything I did. This thing needed a lot. So first off, it was missing the nuts for the load side. So I, someone removed them. I'm guessing, I don't know why. But when I went to put new nuts on the studs, I started to tighten up the third one. It just broke right off. I didn't put any pressure on it or nothing. just snapped. So I couldn't leave it like that. So I put a new one in. So that's all set. New bleeder resistor slash equalization resistors, new Kemet filter caps that will last beyond me. That was a long, long time. New meter protection diode. Redid the wiring for the meter lamp. So now it has brand new LEDs inside the meters. Has the bias modification done. Brand new plate choke. 
brand new straps for the parasitic board, touched up on solder joints all over. Um, it's up tied the wiring for the bias mod, the brand new wire going back to the board. I always use uh, Teflon jacketed, silver plated, stranded center conductor wire. I have a lot of it, so why not? Brand new SO239s from Max Gain Systems. Awesome people over there. I removed that diode string he had on the board and replaced it with a new one. And it's secured properly. I don't just like making a tag solder connection. I twist then solder. So clean the TR slash bias relay with deoxy gold. Removed the socket assembly and grounded the grids right to the metal. Added the gas discharge tube. Replaced five or six of the re the tension clips over the socket clips and I carefully squeezed all the socket clips and cleaned them with the oxy gold uh, man that was just a bunch of work this thing so uh, that's all set tighten up on the nut in the back of the plate tune air variable capacitor T tighten the nut the the cap nuts that hold the plate air variable capacitor to the chassis, the mounting screws, so they're nice and tight. And uh, put a longer screw in the base of the plate choke, put a longer screw in the top of the plate choke. Tweaked a couple of the input circuits, and it's got a brand new set of Pentholab tubes. Just awesome, awesome company. So, no complaints, they're great people over there, just great, great people. Okay, so. That's about it. Customer didn't work on it. Someone worked on it before him. I guess the previous owner. It's just now it's correct. It is good. It is a nice amp. Two brand new fuses, 12 amp fuses, and she is good to go. I'll give you a good look. So uh, I think the part for the 922 might be here today. If not today, then tomorrow. So that's next. And then the LED B. I have a. 30 uh, L1 I need to work on also so keep them coming keep in mind Harbach I'm gonna be shut down for two weeks next month just cleaning and catching up on other stuff ordering and everything and sourcing parts to keep my prices gotta look all over the place to find the, you know the same parts but at, at best price possible I might have to buy even more than I usually do to get even a better price. I'm gonna to have to put out more money. Just I just want to keep the prices the same for as long as I can with you know so but until everything calms down. But um, so so if you need a hardbox kit, order it because I will not be answering my phone. I'll be not I will not be uh, returning text. I will not be returning emails. I won't be shipping hardbox kits. I won't be taking orders. Um, so I just need a break. A lot of stuff to order, and just lots I need to get done here. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll be back with another amplifier very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Seventy-three.